28 bike share ridden gray, and that's also cool because 28 is my favorite number. Blue Bikes New Orleans is the bike share system that was brought here. It's a partnership between the city of New Orleans, Social Bicycles, and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. 70 stations, 700 bikes when they're all installed. I think we have about 15 and about 150 right now. It just opened. And this is kind of a really cool hybrid system they got going on here where they have stations, but they're not like City Bike or Capital Bike Share where uh, you dock them in. You physically use the U-Lock. Uh, but you also can, if you want, say that you are really in a rush and you need to park your bike right outside of your destination. You can lock up wherever you want. It costs a couple bucks extra to not lock up in a station, uh, but you do have that flexibility. And the cool thing about that is you get charged a penalty, but somebody else can actually make money or support their own membership by going and getting that bike, using it, and bringing it back to a station. So, uh, I haven't seen too much of New Orleans yet, but I'm gonna go on a ride and see some really cool things. I think in New Orleans, it's less that, oh, build the bikeways and then the people start riding. It's more people have been riding for a long time and so the city is working to catch up and make sure that there are bikeways. You know, we've got a few protected bike lanes, but we need so many more. Uh, but there are just really cool streets around here. You know, our shaded streets with oak trees uh, hanging over. Uh, people are generally going slow. There's a number of places like that. The design basically of, those, of our side streets you know, it really makes it hard for cars, for a lot of cars to go flying through. I'm not saying they don't go fast at all. You can cover most of where you need to go, uh, most of New Orleans in 30 minutes on a bike. You called this neutral ground? <laughs> I like the term neutral ground. Riding over here on the rail tracks. As long as there's no trolleys coming, you're very safe up here. It's fairly easy uh, distance-wise to get to where you need to go. It's flat. The climate really works well for riding a lot. And again, it's part of uh, the way that the community gets around. People have been doing it for a long time and it's only been growing in popularity. And now we're working in the advocacy world and the government world to make sure that people are accommodated to be able to ride safely and easily and that it's accessible for everyone. Uh, we have Mardi Gras and our second line parades. And both those things really lock down different parts of the city, make it very hard to have a car or to use transit. So the only two things you can really do is bike or walk. And biking becomes that sort of thing that as an adult you get reintroduced to. People have known me to say it's like, I feel more people, people of color are riding here related to a percentage of the population than any other big city in North America. And I, and I almost challenge anyone to prove me wrong.